Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a pretty day outside, but it is awfully windy. So I'm sorry if you get any of that wind noise in this video. <clears throat> I'm not going to show y'all very much of me because I had an allergic reaction on my face. But anyways, let's get to it. The uh, short throw shifter. Um, I think something's loose. Uh, you can hear it rattling when I drive. So I'm going to attempt to get this boot off and everything and see if we can't tighten it up to see if that helps. So, just drop that. I believe it just pops up like this. Yep. Give me one second. Well, first thing, this is broken, but um, I don't know what that's there for. I'm going to go look at uh, Hearst real quick and see what they have to say. And this looks like it's a little loose. It's got a little wobble in it. So I'm going to go get a socket wrench and we'll see what we can do. Alright, so I couldn't find any with this washer there. So that kind of just points to me that that's not supposed to be there. It doesn't fit. It doesn't sit down in here. Um, it's fairly thin, but the bad news is Devin has both the keys to the shop so I can't get the tools I need. Um, because it is, I'm pretty sure it's a metric. It looks like it's probably an 11 or a 13 maybe. Um, so I'm going to have to wait till he gets home because all of the tools that I have in the house are standard. Um, so yeah, kind of sucks. I even tried using a penny and everything to try to fill the gap to get it to go and it just wouldn't budge. So I guess we'll have to wait till he gets home. It actually looks... Like this piece is either scratched or cracking. I'll look at it a little bit better. See it? I'll look at it a little bit better when um, I get it off. So, yeah, I'm sure this is what's making part of the rattling noise. Because if you hold it, it doesn't. And I just don't. It doesn't make sense why that's there at all. So, yeah. Well, I will catch you guys. Oh, sorry for my finger being in the way. But I will catch you guys later and see if we can get this taken care of. I found some sockets now I just gotta find the wrench. Super windy outside. Yeah, definitely got a storm coming to us. It's been like this for about two weeks. So I did find a adjustable wrench, some sockets, and then I found another wrench. So let's try that. Alright, so it ended up being a 13 millimeter. I found these in uh Devin's RC closet, so let me get this off and I'll be right with you. Alright, so I got them loosened up. As I said, it was the 13 millimeter, so should be able to throw them out by hand now. Sorry if I'm breathing a little hard. As I said, I had an allergic reaction on my face to do some makeup, so, but I should be all right. So if any of y'all know what this washer was for, or if it was just left on there and maybe they tightened it up and they're like, eh, let me know. So he told me this was a Hearst, but and it says that it's forged, but to me, those look like cracks um so yeah those look like cracks to me so I'm gonna talk to Devin when we get home about that and um see maybe if we need to buy another arm or what I'm not the best person to ask about that but I want to say that probably was my rattling part of my rattling issues I know the exhaust is only being hung by the mufflers right now so that's probably another vibration that I've got but that'll be changed we did upload um, two exhaust clips one I took on TikTok and somebody made a comment saying that it was poor quality uh, that it sounded like I recorded it on a potato from 1983 um, so I re-recorded straight from my phone um, closer up to the exhaust tip and Gave it a little bit higher revs on RPM. But anyway, so yeah, I think this was my problem. I'm going to put it back together real quick and then we'll go for a test drive. 
All right, so we got that back on there tight. I'm going to put the cover on real quick, snap it back. Just loosely put the shifter knob on, and we'll go for a test drive. Here's a start up from inside the car. I don't think y'all heard that yet. All right, and I just have the shifter knob on there loosely. I'm probably going to replace this because um, I like having blank shifter knobs where you don't know where the gears are because... Um, a couple years ago when we got the McBride decal put on Devin's car, it took the guy probably 30 minutes to figure out how to put Devin's car in reverse. So, it's kind of nice to have blank shifter knobs in case somebody does try to steal your manual uh, and they need to back it up and they don't know where reverse is. But I'm going to sit you guys probably right here in the cup holder. And we'll go for a ride and see if that helped with any of the noise. I do live on a gravel driveway, so ignore this for a second. We might just, I might just edit it out for you. And I did turn off the air, that way we could hear a little bit better. you guys so yeah i think that little washer was definitely making some noise um i'm gonna get devin's opinion on if we should replace this or if he thinks it's fine i think it's cracked or maybe i don't know um i've never dealt with anything like that uh this is actually my first mustang so so yeah and again it was a 13 millimeter to take those off um i tried with the sae first um with the standard <clears throat> just because that's what I saw first and then got thinking about it but yeah so <clears throat> if you know why that might have been on there or if somebody just left an extra part on there maybe it was from the stock one I don't know um but yeah if you have any comments on it just let me know and yes I know my hands are all covered up had an allergic reaction to some makeup and so every bump that was on my face I mean, every bump that was on my hand or my arm, I went ahead and covered up just in case it was something else. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. Um, just a quick update on the bullet antenna. It does pick up very well. It's a whole lot better than that stubby. Um, and they're only like, I think I paid 25 bucks for it. Um, it's a true spike antenna. Um, so, definitely not too bad. It was $25, $30 maybe. Um, and it got here in a couple of days. So... Anyways, thanks you guys. Um, have a wonderful day. Hustle harder.